this is a very different meeting because we are forerunners. And every generation has a different sound. Every generation have, has a different way of expressing what the Lord is doing. The Lord, even though he is immutable, he is showing us ways of his glory, ways of who he is in a greater and greater measure so the church can grow into that knowledge of who he is and expand our spirit so we can grab hold of the new things, right? So you're probably gonna hear things you've never heard before. It's okay. And I'm gonna be speaking not only to you, but I'm gonna be speaking to the land and the heavens and everything are going to be hearing. So uh, if there are things you don't understand, it's because I'm talking to the land, but I'm conscious that, <laughs> that I'm ministering to you too, okay? We're entering a new level of worship in which words are not that much important, but the frequency we carry. The spiritual realm is about frequencies. And I can sing like an angel, but my frequency can be very low. The spiritual realm responds to frequencies. I mean, not to words, not to beautiful compositions, and there has been a place for that. I mean, the Lord has been taking us from glory to glory, and he has been delighted in the things that we are step by step growing into. Now we need to understand different, in a different way. So I've heard that a lot of people here are hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. And what does hungry mean? Because there's a difference between being enthusiastic and being hungry. Hungry, you do everything to get that piece of manna. You go the extra mile to get it. Nobody's gonna take it away from you. You don't leave it in the table and just walk out of the meeting and say hallelujah and try to convince everybody you were hungry. You're hungry with you grabbing something and that thing, you want more and more and more and everything that is connected to that that you're eating that is so substantial in your spirit leads you to a deeper level. That's hungry. We have a lot of enthusiastic people that cries hallelujah, claps, and we don't care about that. God is looking really for those that want to go further. Amen. Amen. So even though there are things that probably you're not going to understand, just open your hearts. Jesus, the way he spoke, he spoke in pearls. The kingdom of God is like a pearl. So he threw up things that people were like, what on earth is he speaking? And then the disciples even go and gather and say, please explain to us, what, what, what are you trying to say? This is sower that comes and seed, uh, uh, seed sow seeds. And, well, what does that mean? We don't get it. Jesus was not interested in diluting the heavenly seeds into the mind understanding. The words that I speak are spirit and are truth. And there's a reason why he spoke like that. Oh, eat of my flesh and drink of my blood. <gasps> to the Jews, drink of your blood. Oh, you're talking about, this is cannibalism. I mean, can you imagine receiving those words in those days? It was sh shocking to the core. But Jesus had a reason. And many times the Lord say things to see how we respond to something that we don't understand. Sometimes you have a dream, and I, I don't understand that dream, but I, I know it was God because it was so intense. It was like, yeah, I, I know it's God. And you go to the pastor, pastor, can you please interpret the, this dream? That dream was not for the pastor. That was a pearl for you. Most of the people just leave the pearls aside. I don't understand it. I leave it there. And the Lord is watching, what do we do with the pearls you throw? Oh, I know there's something here. I, I, I'm not getting it. I, 
I, I, I cannot grab hold of it, but it, there's something there. And you start pursuing, and you start pursuing, and you start pursuing until it's like a mine. And you hit the golden vein, and then it leads you to all the treasures of that pearl. So the Lord speaks in pearls. And I may be throwing a lot of pearls today. And so does Emerson. So if you don't understand something, the Lord is measuring your hunger. What are you going to do with a pearl? Are you going to keep it in a shelf? Are you throw it away? Are you going to throw it away? The church is packed with revelation. Packed with revelation. Like I said yesterday in the meeting, it's not about getting a revelation. It's how much I can walk in the path of that revelation. Because a lot of people just take what other persons are saying. Oh, this was great what this speaker said. I'm going to repeat it in my church. It's echo, it's void. That person has never lived it. It sounds great, but it has not the substance of life. The substance of life comes when it comes directly from heaven. And the same is with worship. We can sing a very beautiful song. And the Lord will receive the song because he loves us. Everywhere where we are, he loves us. But it's like a, like a romance. It's like, imagine you're a handsome, good-looking guy, and you're courting this beautiful girl. But every time you come to her, you say exactly the same words. You wrote this beautiful poem, and da 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 And she's like, ah, and now? And you leave. And the next day, you do the same thing. And the next day, for 40 years, you do the same thing. Exactly the same words, exactly the same notes. What would the girl think? Can we have a relationship? Yeah, I love when you start singing out of your heart. Because that's what the Lord was wanting. What is in your heart for me? What can you, my unique, beautiful, precious, beloved one, has to give me? Not what other people wrote. What do you have for me? Can we do that? So it's not about just producing noise and start shouting in tongues. And everybody, here, here I am. It's not about that. It's about synchronizing with the spirit. And just tune yourself until something inside of you start to produce a sound according to what the Holy Spirit is doing. The Holy Spirit is coherent. It's not a chaos. It's a beautiful thing. And he starts tuning us. We are like a, the chords of a harp that the Lord is playing in a meeting. And you're one chord, and you're the other chord, and you're the other chord, and we all produce a beautiful symphony of heaven, produced by heaven, through heaven, and through us. Amen? In each and every one of us, there is the substance of Christ. Even though if you're not a believer, I know there's someone here that has never come to Christ. It's okay. The Lord has placed eternity inside of every single person. And that eternity can tune up with God. Okay? So can we open up some, something new and different in worship? Hallelujah. So I want you to go back to that place where you were when you were just ministering there. with heaven, Lord. Reconcile the worship of our hearts with heaven. And let the Holy Spirit and the angels of worship start ministering to us.
the heart that once was beating for you awake awake oh land hear the sound from heaven hear the sound that is coming down to wake the land to wake the people of the almighty God Awake, awake, you waters. Awake, awake, you winds. Awake, awake, you fire of the spirit. Awake, the people. Awake, the sons and daughters. They're hearing the call of heaven to go higher, higher. Higher, to go higher, higher, higher. Lift up your wings. Lift up your wings. And get into the high places. with me as the wind blows fly 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 with me fly 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 in the winds of the spirit I have called you the city of the wind for there's a wind from heaven, a holy wind, a sign to the land. Fly, fly, fly to the high places within your heart is the door to my Within your heart are the doors of heaven. Let 
Open your mouths flow in the river of the Almighty God. Come on, church, open your mouths. Let the river flow. Let the Spirit guide you. Angels of worship join you, and the angels of worship join you. There will hide them on the angels of worship join you, and the angels of worship join you. In a yarra kupa hai, erea tu kai, erei bi ai tu tu, erea do kai de tu. Is she na na ye ko ma mai? Is she da ra ye ko lai dem bu? I have come to wake and light up the ancient fire. The ancient fire in the land. Uriya bitsi ki ana yetsu Maria dotai. Oh, I'm restoring. The angelical guard over this region. There's an angel of fire, there's an angel of fire assigned to the land. He was silented, he was obstructed. Roma haira yetso ineda mai reku marai jesso na rai yetse the layers of religion the layers of religion quench the power stop the power of the fire that I sent says the Lord rise up rise up. Ancient angel of fire of the land, rise up, rise up in the fire of the living God. Whoa, whoa, wind blow, wind blow, wind blow, wind blow, the fire of the Lord. Kutubasaya, kutubai it say. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
break your structures of religion break your structures of I cannot do break the structures of lie that are stopping you to become the powerful sons and daughters that I have made you before the foundation of the world break the structures of impossibility in your mind whoa 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 Rocky Niyama Lo Pariya Tu Lo Pariya Tu Let it flow, let it flow. Something is going to happen to you. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Something is happening, something is happening. Angels are coming in our midst. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a huge angel, there's a huge angel, and he is flipping his wings, and his wings have the sound of the many waters. It's like the sound of the Niagara Falls. And it's a sound like he's flipping his wings. And he has a hammer. And he has a hammer in his hand. And there is a cloak. And there is a cloak of stone all over the city. And the angel is coming. And the angel is breaking with a hammer. The cloak of stone that is hindering the people. That is hindering the people. Bound in religion. Bound in nonsense. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break the stone. Break the stone. Shokopa. Shokopa. Shokopa tendarayato. The light of understanding, the light of understanding is shining. 
understanding knowledge of the living God understanding the Lord is quickening the hearts the Lord is quickening the eyes of understanding to see what you couldn't see the light is shining in the hearts of those that wants it shape to Chicago I have made you as a heart the heart of the Midwest I have set angels in your rivers to flow my purposes and my words like the heart pumps out the blood, Chicago pumps out what is in its heart. But your heart has become hardened, says the Lord, as a stony heart. I have come once and again, and once and again, and once again, the heart of the city becomes stone. I will give you a new heart, says the Lord, to Chicago, and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and you will keep my judgments and do them. I see the hand of the Lord like a huge hand laying over the city. And as the mountains melt, as his voice, at his voice, the stony heart of Chicago is melting like wax. And out of the hand of the Lord, a new heart is formed, a heart of unity a heart of love. A heart where there's no room for division or racism. A heart that will allow the people to see each other as the beloved of my Father, says the Lord. is crying and there is a dagger a deep dark dagger in the ground in the heart and this dagger was stopped the land when the indigenous people were cast out from the land 
by President Andrew Jackson. And they lost the land. And the dagger has a name. And the name is racism. And racism was established from that point on. And the earth has been groaning. of the living God to ask forgiveness to the land and I don't think it's by chance that we come from Jacksonville even though we don't have anything to do with that man but there was the land that took his name and as citizens of Jacksonville we ask forgiveness to the land We're here to bring healing and to take this dagger out. Receive, receive our repentance. Receive, receive our repentance. Receive. Forgive, O oh land, for greater is your purpose, for greater is your destiny, for greater is what the days to come are going to be. And the land responds, and the land responds, and the land responds, and the angel of fire takes the dagger out and the hand of the Lord is healing the wound of the land the wound of racism. Forty years after the dagger was stabbing the land, the great fire came into Chicago as a judgment. There's a sound of riots. There's a sound of riots. Riots of racism that started in 1991. Big riots of racism in the land. And the cycle came back. And the sound of riot was reestablished. But there's a greater sound in the land that is suffocating the sound of riot that is suffocating the sound of bigotry the sound of racism and is the sound of the redemptive voice of the Christ a rain as a mist that is coming down there's a rain of mercy there's a rain of redemption that is healing the land that is healing healing the land 
I am here to proclaim the voice, the voice of the Lord, being lifted up above any other voice, the voice of hatred, be silent from hell, the voice of racism, be silent in hell and the voice and the voice of the Lord sounds sounds as a blast sound as a blast of healing of redemption of love and glory And the four living creatures and the 24 elders and the myriads of angels are gathered around the throne and there's a sound that cries glory Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Lamb that was slain. Glory to the Lamb, all the honor, all the power, all the glory, all the riches, all the glory be to the Lamb and the whole creation responds. And awakens and awakens to the reality of heaven. Away. And the waters are singing, and the rivers are singing the song of worship. And the forests are singing. The riches of His glory as they are being stained with golden tongues. They're singing the riches, the riches of his majesty and every tree looks up to heaven and worships and every bird and every fish and every living soul receives the frequency of an awakening, the frequency of a new heart that fears God in His holiness. The city that was there, like a valley of dry, bo dry bones, is receiving the wind, the ruah, the breath, the breath of God.
calor says to you take heed I'm here I am your provider he that has united with a Christ has become one spirit with him unite with him the wrong beliefs from all the fears from all the anger in the land as he's cleansing you he's cleansing the land city is rising up like a mighty warrior a warrior not to wage war a warrior in his essence a warrior against some righteousness a warrior of holiness. A warrior of freedom. And it's beautiful. manifestations like the gift of tongues like the gifts of healing like the gifts of discernment and knowledge but those are gifts a gift is not a person a gift is the product of the love of that person but it's not the person the spirit of the Lord is everything he is when he says I will pour down my spirit all the glory of heaven was inside his spirit he is the glory that Jesus carried being baptized of 
the Holy Spirit is being immersed in who He is. The immersion, that's what baptism means. Immerse. It means like to die in the sense of dying a cloth into another color. He dies us in the glory of the Father. Father. Where all possibilities are. The Holy Spirit is the kingdom. Like Emerson said yesterday, the kingdom is not a place, it's a person. And the Holy Spirit makes it real. All the dimensions of heaven are within the Spirit. When I am immersed in the Spirit, when I'm baptized in the Spirit, there's no sickness that can attack me. There's no virus that can attack me. What virus can come against the glorious Holy Spirit? Nothing. We have seen in our ministry how viruses and, 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 and bacteria just scourges as they approach us. There are no room in us because we have been baptized in Him, immersed in Him. And it's like you're immersed to see through different glasses. You don't no longer see through the glasses of your senses, of your culture, of your hatreds, of your limitations, of your traditions. You see through the eyes of God that everything is possible. There's nothing more glorious than that immersion. It changes your heart. That's what people hear me saying, oh, the devil is a cockroach under my feet. Because that's what the, that, what, that's what the Lord said. When you will receive the Holy Spirit, you will be convicted of righteousness because you don't believe in me. Of justice because I'm going to the Father. And of judgment because the prince of this world has been judged. And when you walk in the realm of the Holy Spirit. Like that glory that surrounds us, that immerses you, that grabs every cell of your body, that speaks into your heart the light of the Lord, the revelations of the Lord, that drags your spirit into the deepest dimensions of the heavens. Everything is possible within the Holy Spirit. And we have reduced it to speaking in tongues, Holy Spirit. No, that's just a token, a gift of His precious love. The immersion requires us leaving behind our nature to truly live in that holy union, that holy matrimony of God and man. To live in His holiness, seeing through His eyes, hearing through his ears and then nothing can disturb you you will laugh at the media you will laugh at all the lies because a lie has no substance all these lies that the media throw up lies have no substance the substance is in the spirit the substance is in the light that's what a true son of God is. It's not where you gather. It's not about the doctrines. It's not about a denomination. It's about being joined together in his spirit. Where we meet with one another spirit. Where we are a true body to just connect in his majestic love. To change everything around us. Because wherever there is light, there is light. Wherever there is light, there is love. Wherever there is light, there is justice. And that's who we are in Christ. His Spirit is here calling you to be immersed in Him. And 
those who have ears to hear just enter him just be in him just allow yourself to plunge in those waters of everlasting life This is what Jesus came to do. And that's why he erkomai. Erkomai is the word in Greek for the verb to come. In the in a tense that doesn't have a present, a past, or a future. He just erkomai in our midst. He comes in our midst. He flows in the midst of us. He enlightens us. He changes. He's here. He's ergomine right now. In the midst of Chicago. Just lift your hands and glorify him. Love him as a person. Receive him as a person that wants to live through you. It's not about what you know. It's not about what you think. It's about you allowing him to be through you and in you.